Bicker Boys or Sway and King Tech? Damn, Eric V is in the GGL too. He played with me. He and my crew. They all legends, by the way. I'm going to go with Baker Boys, cuz. I'm going with that Latino culture. F off. Baker Boys. 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 All right, so uh, Baker Boys, what do you got? Um... I'm going to start with our favorite topic right now, Diddy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do AT&T. Going. That's what I'm going to lead okay, with. Okay, so from, you're going to start. For, for, uh, for mine. For All my right, bigger bus. So you tease first. <clears throat> Intro's fine with the music. All right, party people. Here we go. It is a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. Nick the Eric V. Ari Rose in the building. Straight ahead. We do it every day, two times a day. Make a buzz. What's coming up first, yeah. Ari? Ooh, well, we're going to be talking about our favorite topic right now, Diddy. He just uh, doesn't let us down. He's got more and more coming out, and now it's involving I'll Be Sure. Oh, man, and AT&T said there are 73 million people that got their passwords leaked due to a Ooh. data breach on the dark web. Damn it, man. Make a buzz, Starks. Ah. Back to the music Make a boys. those Baker boys. That's coming up in the Baker buzz. Listening. All right, party people, here we go. It is a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. Nick V. Eric V. Ari Rose in the building. Straight ahead, we do it every day, two times a day. I lowered it a little bit because that was a little loud, Eric V. That's fine. Next one. Here do we whatever go. you got to do. Yes. Yo, what, what up, uh, DJ Live, and what up, uh, G Shock? What up, player? Thanks for being here, guys. It's the Baker Boys in the building for a terrific Tuesday, April 2nd. It's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Ooh, peanut butter jelly, jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, butter jelly time. Woo, woo, peanut woo, woo, butter woo, jelly woo, woo. time. But there's also something with a horse today as well, right? Yeah, National Ride Your Horse to a Ooh, bar day. Right? Wait, what? <laughs> to a bar? Wait, do you know that you can get pulled over for uh, drunk driving? For yeah. drunk no, not drunk driving. Drunk riding. Drunk riding yeah. on a drunk horse as well. Riding. Yes. Okay. Let's, you you try that out? Let's try that out. Yeah. <laughs> What up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a terrific Tuesday. We have the Baker Buzz coming straight ahead. Al B. Shore tells 50 Cent he warned us about Diddy's current activity verbatim back in 2012. And Nick V, I warned you, we should have left him a long time ago. Oh. AT&T confirms a data breach of 73 million customers on the dark web. You got AT&T? Yes. Ooh. Ben had it. So here we Jesus. go. <laughs> it's 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Buzz. From Hollywood and beyond. We specifically said no All right, it happens twice a day. The Baker Buzz, Nick V, Eric V, and Ari Rose in the building for your first Baker Buzz. Ari, what are you bringing in? Yikes. I'll be sure is now ready to talk about this whole Diddy situation. So if you're just tuning in on uh, the, the way the thread is unrolling yeah, here with, with Diddy. God, it's such a freaking web. So I'll be sure who has a child with Kim Porter. Quincy. Right. For those who do not know, Kim Porter is Diddy's ex-wife. Ex -wife. She right. passed yes. away in 2018. Uh -huh. for, yes. Uh, under mysterious circumstances, pneumonia, by the way. Pneumonia, quote unquote. Quote unquote pneumonia. Right. So I'll be sure was in a coma. He just fell into this coma. He was in a coma for like 40 days. It was something crazy, almost two months. And um, now he's been saying that he didn't just fall into a coma. Like basically he's blaming Diddy, right? Diddy had something to do with this. And so he even had notes that he had left and had put out in 2012 saying, if I die, my attorney will open the closet and will leak everything about everyone. Oh, so this wow. is back in 2012. All right, so he's been holding on to this for, for been, a little while. Yes, <laughs> and before Kim Porter died, she was saying that um, she was being followed. Oh. And then she mysteriously died. And so wow. everyone that's been in this circle, starting from back in the day, has passed on, except I'll be sure. Yep. But I'll be sure almost died. Yes, he almost died. So Diddy and I'll be sure are the only ones left from the Uptown's record yes. uh, collective that started or, way back in the 90s. It was like five of them, right? Yeah, yeah, it was only five people. Andre Harrell, Heavy D, yes. Kim Porter, yep. uh, Diddy, and I'll be sure. Yep. Right, there's your five right yep. there. Yep. So anyways, so that's what we're going to be unraveling. And of course, 50 Cent is involved in this because, you know, he's got his hand in this jar. And so now he's saying, I'll be sure, give me all the footage. I'm putting this in the documentary. All right. That's crazy. So we'll keep paying attention to see what happens yep. with all these things coming out. So AT&T confirmed 73 million customers were leaked on the 
dark web. Whoa. Your data might be in the dark web. at t confirmed it in a statement on Saturday that data-specific fields were contained in a data set released on the dark web approximately two weeks ago. And they barely found out about this. What? Two weeks ago. AT&T what kind of security do they have? Uh, not right. very much. Right? Not very good, it's evidently. A, it's a huge business. at and is a huge organization. How can they not have an IT having their eyes on this? It's, it's very important. Right. The data includes social security no! numbers, but no call history. Thank God, right? <laughs> and, and no personal finance financial information. Well, how do they have our, our social security numbers, though? I, I guess it's linked to something over here. Maybe your bill. Maybe, oh, yeah, I, don't I was going to say, don't you have to give them your social security yeah. when you first open a line? Yeah, so the to comp- check your credit? Wow. Do they still do that? Probably so. The For- company did not say that a number of AT&T passcodes were compromised, and all affected customers have had their passcodes reset. So mine hasn't mm. been reset, so I guess I wasn't affected. I wasn't good enough for the dark web, guys. That's yes. what it was. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, coming up in my next Baker Buzz, Tyrese demands an apology from Joe Biden. And Travis Scott wants out of the Astro World lawsuit. <laughs> Shame on you, bro. It's coming up next, Baker Boys Daily. You said Baker, by the way. Again, one more time. Just giving you a heads up. Me? All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I was going to say. Rebirth. Don't you Rewind. Have- Cust- it hasn't been- oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, coming up in my next Baker Buzz, Tyrese. Oh, Baker Buzz. I was like, I didn't even say Baker Boys. What are you, you talking said Baker about? Buzz. Baker Buzz. Right. What up, honey? Honey B, thank you for checking in and, and watching right here behind the scenes. Right. Destiny Cattrell. What's next? Insane That's link up, okay. she says. Wow. Hey, you guys, feel free right. to chime in on anything we're talking about because if we see something that... Makes sense. We're going to shout you out and use it live right here. Yeah, we'll shout you out, too. Yeah, for sure. All right. I got, I got some. Oh, okay. Ah, you first. You first. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, first. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Ari V. Okay. SF. It is the Baker Boys 102 Jazz. Of course, 100 pits. 100% throwbacks right here on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> when did you get a list? My, my, my fat tongue. 100%. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Mike Tyson too long. Stuck. <laughs> so coming in 2026, set to break ground this summer, the high-speed travel will come to over a dozen cities. And we're talking about this is before FIFA happens. And my thing is, why do does everybody want to impress the world all of a sudden? Now you want to upgrade the infrastructure when people are coming from around the world to you know, make us look like we're better than we are? You know what's crazy is I see I watch this show called Billions, right? And during one of the episodes, they're actually bringing trying to bring the Olympics to New York. Right, and, right, I remember. And all this whole thing was yeah. coming together for like a fast, fast planes and all these uh, ways to transport people, people around yeah. because it's a money thing. Yeah. So it took. FIFA to come to the United States for this to happen? Yes. Come terrible. on, man. It's bull. So the air travel costs and inconvenience rising. Ambitious project is welcome. The alternative tra- for travelers out there. We're talking about $25 ticket to take passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco what? in 45 minutes. Sign me up, though. 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Can 20, I get a fast pass for this? $25? 25 bucks to get to uh, No, what? I thought you said it was $45. No, for, 45 minutes. 40, oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm in. What? That thing's going to be jam-packed. Right? Yes, it is. So the project is aiming to redefine long-distance travel by using AI-powered self-driving system. Oh, no. Who's going on this no. AI train? Nope, not doing it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, never mind. It's coming. It'll be here by 2026. <laughs> so we'll see if you're not on that train. Girl, you're going to be up on there so quick. No. Nope. You're going to buy a whole season pass. <laughs> Nope. Yes, she will. <laughs> I'll see you. We'll broadcast live. I'll be on Southwest waving from above. 102 Jams. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. SF Local, you got it? Oh, I thought you were going to mention yeah, the Vegas go. train. No, we're going to talk about Vegas. We're talking about LA. Because this is the SF. Yeah, this is an SF story. So it's, one o- it's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. So a Bay Area woman who purchased a vacant lot in Hawaii was surprised to find out a $500,000 house was built on the property by mistake. Somebody else's house? Yes, so somebody like else? she she bought this land oh, and no. somebody went and built a half a million dollar pro- house on her land. That's what happens when you buy land in another country or but another that's a good state. Thing. It is? Yeah, she owns it. She owns it. It's she owns her it. land. It's her land. Wow. If I buy a land and you come, you little ding dong, and build a house <laughs> a without worker. checking, you yeah. little sex worker, <laughs> and you come build a house on my land, it's my, it's house. my house. Congratulations, homegirl. Yes. yes but... Why is she being sued by the developer? Oh, hell no. No, 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 Good no. luck with that. No, no it's her land. Yeah, yeah, if you illegally built something on somebody else's land, it's mm-hmm. theirs, bro. That's it. So anyways, I think this woman just came up. Yeah. Come and build 100%. something on my land. Well, she came up. Let us know what happens. We want to make sure. We want to we wanna visit that house. <laughs> yeah, right. It's 102 Jam. 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. All right. Hour number two, top five. Uh, I have a news. what the F news, I think, guys. Let me see. 
I got a dummy. I'm having trouble with this fucking prep right now because there's so much. All right, let's go. All right, I got, yeah. Oh. Okay, go ahead. You go first. Right. You do dummy, and I'll do what the F news the next one. Hey, it's a terrific Tuesday at the Baker Boys Daily Show. Hope you guys had a great, wonderful Easter and all that stuff. All right, coming up. Ari Rose has a dummy of the day. Elementary school student tries to drive himself to school. <laughs> oh, Nine-year-old <God>. boy. <laughs> Oh, man, he's doing hood rat stuff. That's all. The kid is the dummy, huh? He's just experimenting. That's yeah. it. Okay. Should we have still talked about Easter? No. I just brought it up. Baker yeah. Boys Daily, Nick V, Eric V, Ari Rose. Time for your dummy of the day. So one elementary school student, a nine-year-old to be exact, tried to drive himself to school mm -hmm. and crashed a car into a California Highway Patrol officer. Oh. You know, this is something I could have seen Nick do yeah. when he was younger. Yeah. Because he would just go to 7-Eleven by himself. One time. Uh, you've done it multiple times, brother. I know you've done other stuff by by yourself multiple times. When I was a kid, I had access to a big wheel and, and <laughs> about 33 said, cents. He said a big wheel. And yes, Wait. I took it upon myself to cross a major street. You could have been kidnapped by been, the Hollywood pedophiles. Anything bad could happen. Thank Hold God. Back, Come on. In, back in the 80s or the 70s, everybody knew each other. So the 7-Eleven guy called my mom, called and, said, mom. and says, I have your son here. He's mm -hmm. trying to buy some candy. <laughs> you might want to come pick him up. Oh, my. You took a car to go by candy? A big wheel, not a car. Wait, what's a big wheel? Oh, it was before your time. It's like a tricycle. Do you know what a tricycle is? Yeah, like I know what a tricycle. Yeah, it's like a three wheel thing that little kids would push around or you know oh pedal. Oh my! They would pedal. God! And I just found out they're making adult size big wheels, and I oh. want one for my birthday. No so way! So I can go to Seven <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> well, when I was fourteen, no, fourteen or fifteen, I snuck out of the house uh -huh. and I took my dad's car. Oh! My girlfriends and I, we snuck out Michelle, Jessica, Tina, and Donna. I remember. All right. And so. we took this car to go meet up with some boys that were throwing a little party. Oh boy! Up the street, a fourteen-year-old party. <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you guys this story because it all happened in San Jose. So Ooh. I got to tell you guys a story, well, actually. So this kid is the dummy of the day. So he this kid is a dummy of the day because he uh, he he was stopped oddly in the middle of intersection, and then the cop tells him to move the car, and uh -huh. he ends up crashing into the cop car. Oh man! He reversed and backed right into the patrol car, causing minor damage to both cars, but. Guess what? What? He was later sent to school. <laughs> he still had to go to school. Yeah. I'd be pissed. I took a car, crashed into a cop car, and I got to go to school. <laughs> Man. Go take that math exam, kid. Nine-year-old dummy of the day. Yep. Thank you, Ari Rose. Uh, you got to what the F news. All right. Um... Shout out to everybody tuned in right now on Instagram and on Twitch right now. So we're doing a recording of behind the scenes of our daily show that runs on 29 stations around the country, guys. If you just tuned in and wondering what the hell is going on, that's what's going on, <laughs> just so you know. What the F? Right. Baker, Boy Baker Boys and I Rose in the building. What the F news coming from Eric V soon. Hey, do you guys love Disneyland? I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. we what take you, it. Nick, we, you just went to Disneyland. How are you shaking your head? All right, yes, I had a good time. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> Disneyland attraction shuts down, shuts down after someone spreads their relative's ashes on one of the rides. <gasps> Guys, come or, on, we can't do this. Yeah, can't do it. Oh. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. No good morning, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Welcome. I'm going to shout you out right now, Veronica. Thank you for that. Nick V and Eric V, the Baker Boys in the building. It's time for your What the F News coming from Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland. First of all, shout out to Veronica Oh Yeah 76 checking hey. us out right Woo. now. Thank you so much. All right, Disneyland shuts down the attraction after someone spreads their relative's ashes Why on it. Why would you do that? Uh, because uh, obviously somebody wanted their ashes spread at Disneyland. Was so, it like on a roller coaster and it went in someone's face? Oh. It was a popular Star Wars attraction. Uh, attraction. We love Rise that. of the Resistance. We yes. love that one. I would spread my ashes there too, too. Oh, I would no. love that. Yeah. Yes. If you sprinkled on my face, okay, no diddy. Whoa. No, I'm so proud. <laughs> yeah, damn. I was just going to say. So <laughs> cast members had to clean up the ashes as it covered the floor and the ride. No. Now, there's a particular no. room in this ride where it's very windy. There, do you remember that part yes, of the, yes. Yeah, where it's like a hole of the spaceship is blowing apart right. and it, like the wind from outside comes in. Right. That's where they did it? That's where they should do it, right there. I don't know That's if they, they should do it. No, Eric. What? That's what I would do it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not helping you with that. Sorry, bro. This isn't the first time this has happened at Anaheim, California theme park. Guests have also chosen It's a Small World, which is uh, one of uh, Nick's uh, favorite rides, I guess. No, it's not. Actually, there's a lot of holes in It's a Small World's roof, which I saw, and they need to clean that up. All right. And Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> the Haunted Mansion... I also try to scatter the loved one's ashes. So at, out of which ride at Disneyland would oh. you want your ashes spread? Do you know? 
She no, doesn't. I don't want my ashes spread at <laughs> Disneyland. That's hypothetical question. Okay, if uh. I were to spread my ashes at Disneyland, it would have to be at the KC Junior train ride. The one that goes dun 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 dun. Okay, I guess mine would be Harry Potter as I'm flying there's above no, the castle. No Harry Potter at Disneyland, bro. Oh Disney, I'm thinking Universal. All right, the All story's right. over. I'll now go to Universal, now Harry you, Potter. Now you're switching parts. <laughs> I sw- I I don't want to be spread at Disneyland. Anyway, I stand by my decision, guys. There is your what the f news, people. Oh, <laughs> at Jerry Jones' house, man. All right, what's next? Two SF locals. Got it. Let's go. All right. Uh, get it, Nick and Eric. Thank you, DJ Hectic. You can start, Eric. All right. Baker Boys on them. Uh, Baker Boys on a terrific Tuesday. It's 102 Jams. Of course, 100% throwbacks. California fast food wages have increased yeah, to, to $20, 20 bucks. an hour yesterday. Yep. We Isn't talked that... about this last week. Yeah, we did, but it happened yesterday. Oh, yeah. oh my fault. My fault. It's let's, okay. Let's do it again. I'm, I screwed it up. I'm sorry. Yesterday. I, I was we, saying because. Say yesterday, as we talked about last week, mm-hmm. it's yeah, finally yeah, yeah. implemented. Okay. Yeah. SF local area. Right. Go ahead. Hold good morning. On, hold on, start, go. <clears throat> good morning. It's 102 Jazz, 100% throwbacks. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose right here. So as we talked about last week, yesterday it went into effect. California fast food wages have increased to $20 an hour. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. congratulations to those that are making that money because- Do you were, think that's good? For, for people that are you know making minimum wage, yeah, a $4 raise is pretty good. Yeah, but what about the people who have to pay this? Well, that's their- well, it's business. You know what I mean? It's just... You're going to have to find other ways to do business. All right. Somebody chimed in and says, not all restaurants, only big chains. Oh. So there you go. Oh, all right, really? So you got to work at a big chain, I guess, to have this So uh, it's got to be like the McDonald's, raise. all of that stuff? Yeah, all the big I mean, chains. they're already well, having trouble with their prices right now. People are complaining about the dollar menu. Yep. For, oh, for McDonald's. yeah. We're going to yeah. talk about that, too, coming up. All right. Well, congratulations to those that are making that minimum wage out there because it's a my, not a life-changing advance in you know their income, but... Think about making 40% more on your paycheck. Yeah. You wouldn't like that? Yeah, I do, but I guess it just like, it, I just feel like how do businesses survive? They're already struggling to survive. They have to downsize. You have to shift. This is the, the, the year of the yeah. pivot. What Hire, are the mm. Hire, Hire the robots. Hire the robots. Oh, God, <laughs> don't. So Baker Boys in the morning, one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. That was weird, Nick. She kind of ended it and you kept going. Yeah, well, I, I that wasn't a, that didn't sound like an ending to me. It was. Oh, yeah. We're going to yeah. talk about that, too, coming up. Boom. That's the end. But it's okay. No, no, it's, no, it's okay. no, no leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I'll fix it. I'll cut I'll cut it off before she says that. So All right. don't worry about that. Yo, thank you, Adam, for the thousand bits, man. Adam. Appreciate Woo! you. Thank you, Adam De Jesus, checking in right now. Adam De Jesus. <laughs> yes, De Jesus. Uh, and Bridger Kimball. What? We got 2,000 bits? Damn. All right. Uh, where All we right. Uh, so, I got something here. Go ahead. It is a terrific Tuesday with the Bagel Boys and Ari Rose in the building. What's up, party people? Do you like following trends, guys? No. Well, uh, trendsetter. It depends on what it is. All right. Well, Ari, if you ever wanted to make some extra money on Twitch, you know, we do stream our show on Twitch right. here and there uh-huh. on Mondays and uh, Thursdays. But right. Twitch is changing their policy to deal with the new butt streaming trend. What? Yeah. There's a new policy change at Twitch to deal with this whole butt streaming. On Wednesday, the Twitch tweeted out to their uh, revise their policy and disallowed prolonged periods of content that focused on the intimate body part called your butt or, or ass. Wait, yeah. what? Okay. Yeah. What, so what? What's been happening late? Innovating. <laughs> I have so many questions <laughs> that well, I don't even know how to ask. What's been happening lately? They've kind of relaxed their ter- ter- terms about sexuality, about being provocative and sexy oh, okay. on Twitch. So, so they were allowing porn stuff. Basically almost okay. like nudity. Yeah. Okay. Like there'll be women that'll paint their body, body paint, right? Yeah. yeah. But they won't have a bra on. Like, oh. but as long as something's covering their certain- Who has? Yeah, I okay. guess their nipples or whatever, but yeah. Oh. So people are using their butts and boobs as kind of a green screen where gaming footage is being shown directly on their body. Okay? What? I don't know how that would work. What do you mean? I got to see it. I want to see it because it doesn't make sense to me. If they're using butts as a green screen, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. A green screen is a green screen. Okay, so their, their, their butt, butt is maybe green. Their butt is painted green, right? Oh. But it shows the actual video of, on their butt. So you'll see a video game with the butt crack. I don't see any problem with that. <laughs> I don't see any problem with that whatsoever. <laughs> well, because yeah. how do you see the butt if you're if there's a game on the butt? Yeah, exactly. You're Always. not just staring at the butt. You're staring at the game on a butt. Yeah, let's see this. I don't see a problem with it so far. I think I might even try this. Let's stream the oh, show God. on your butt. Yeah. Why don't we give it a try, Eric V? 
<laughs> Our Twitch numbers can, you know, use some raising. I, I think it'll go down. You got, yeah, <laughs> we'll I think we'll, probably, we'll probably lose subscribers <laughs> and followers. So, well, yeah, let's try do that. Let's give it a try. It's the Baker Boys Daily. 100% throwbacks. Wait. It's the Baker Boys at one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. I was like, wait, it's an SM Yo, DJ Hectic says, I think it's a good thing. Cali is so expensive oh as it is. Find an employer that cares, and they will figure it out. Talking about the price. Yeah. Well, if it's a big chain, then it makes sense. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss Vidal. Uh, 200 bits, and we got a high chain level two. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Baker Boys right here on a terrific Tuesday. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. All right, coming up, coming up in the Baker Buzz, Travis Scott wants out of the Astro World lawsuits. Boy, not so fast, homie. And you know who wants out of music? Lizzo. She's oh, quitting man. music. I, oh my god. This is bad news. I don't like this, man. I don't like bullying at all, and I feel terrible for this woman. Yeah. She's such a talent. We'll talk about it coming up in the Baker Buzz, Buzz. this hour. You know I teased my Baker Buzz. Okay, yeah, you yeah, did. But yeah, but I was trying to, to find it. Okay, so <laughs> that, I was trying. That's so I was like, hold on, I'm trying to find it. Well, you should have just said to something. Say, hey, hold up, just. So we don't do it. The break. I know, but then you teased. Well, because you were. I didn't see you, you were ready. ready. We were I w- ready. Yeah, okay. you're 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 doing that. So. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You're we're gonna gonna do your big we're, buzz? No, we're gonna go back and fix it. Oh, we you are? already teased yours. Yeah. What was it from her? It last was hour? Tyrese demands apology for Joe Biden. Yeah. I know yeah. what it yeah. is. I just had to pull the article. Yeah. Do they still do that? Probably. Oh, this one. Okay. Well, you just yeah. needed to tease, so that's all. But it's cool. Okay. I don't know how that would work. What do you mean? Here we go. Starting over. Yeah, we're starting over. She's gonna pick up. Hold on. Oh, yo, shout out to... Uh, coming, up, <laughs> coming up in the Baker Buzz, Travis Scott wants out of the Astral World lawsuits. Boy, not so fast, homie. And, All right, right there. Right not there. so fast, homie. And Tyrese. Mm-hmm. World lawsuits, boy, not so fast, homie. And Tyrese demands apology from Joe Biden after declaring Easter Sunday as Transgender Day of Visibility. Oh, okay, Tyrese. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, right. Okay, Joe Biden. <laughs> right. <laughs> coming up next in the Baker Buzz, y'all. Hold on. What the hell? DJ Lonnie B, what up? What up, party people? The Baker Boys in the building. Today is April 2nd. Happy and it's birthday. Happy too. birthday going out to Mr. Marvin Gaye. Ooh, Ooh I love Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. What's your favorite Marvin Gaye song? Let's get it on. Of course. Oh. Sexual healing. Oh. <laughs> Please. And happy birthday to my girl, Cindy Vega, my best friend from middle school out at Leva. Oh, okay. Happy yeah. birthday to both y'all. Yeah. Baker Boys in the building, Ari Rose in the building. It's time for your Baker Buzz coming up right around the corner. Ooh, Tyrese is demanding an apology from President Joe Biden after he declared Easter Sunday as Transgender Day of Visibility. Oh, boy. Travis Scott also, he wants out of Astroworld. He thought we forgot about that lawsuit, homeboy. Oh, no. Those people mm-hmm. died. You want out of that? Forget about it. Mm-hmm. 102 jams. 100% throwbacks. Go what up, Manny Brown? It's the Baker Boys. It is time for your Baker Buzz. We do it hour one and hour three. So, Nick V, what are you talking about? Astro World. Y'all remember this? Yep. Travis Scott. You remember him? Ten yep. people were killed. They were trampled over the, on the stage. Yep. Uh, yep. You know, there was a lot of uh, co- cost cutting going on mm-hmm. from the promoter and all that stuff. So, yep. he's well, included in this whole lawsuit. Yeah, there's over 2,500 lawsuits that were filed Jeez. claiming negligence by Scott, Live Nation, and others, including Apple. I don't know why Apple's not um, included in there, but they're also named in it. His lawyers argue that it's not his responsibility to ensure safety at live events and that he followed the recommendations of safety mm. safety experts for the show. The first trial related to the lawsuit is scheduled for May 6th, coming right around the corner. Mm. I do not think he should be able to get dismissed out of this. People yeah. died, yeah. and you were on stage, and you're not paying attention to what's going on. There's yeah. ambulances coming through the crowd. You didn't stop to think one second. Why are there ambulances trying to get through the crowd? Right, yeah. right. You have a responsibility of like looking out and taking care of the audience. Yes, yeah. it wasn't a direct, like you didn't cause it, but you should be aware of your surroundings. I mean, you got a bird's eye view of everything that's happening. Say, you're yeah. seeing it happen in real time. And at that point, you know, you got to say F the show. Yeah. You got to be like, hey, there's people getting hurt. People are traveling. Hey, stop. Stop, cop, stop the music. Right. You guys got to chill. Everybody yeah. got to back up because Ten steps back. people are getting pushed into the front of the stage and getting trampled. And I mean, you've, you've seen other artists that during concerts where like fights break out or something happens and yeah. they'll say, hey, 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 stop the music. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. in control. You like, got to. The whole thing is your is, is on your It's command. a responsibility of the artist to do that. I mean, you have security, but they can only do so much. Yeah. Yeah, you I know? agree. 
Yeah. Well, uh, in other news, Tyrese is demanding an apology from Joe Biden after declaring Easter Sunday as Transgender Day of Visibility. Okay. He says, pick up your Bible. Jesus don't do politics. Politics. A he says, pick up your Bible. <laughs> Jesus don't do politics. Ain't enough transgenders on earth for re-election. And so here's the thing, right? Because my nephew was posting about it and um, a couple days ago, and he, you know, he was saying like how like it's so disrespectful for Biden to announce that. But then I Googled it and it seems like uh, Transgender Day of Visibility started in 2019 and it's always been March 31st. And it oh. just so happens that Easter landed this year on March 31st. Gotcha. So, I mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself in this whole subject because it's a touchy situation. Well, this is why the situation, that's why the subject is so touchy because yeah. it's, it's about separating us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our, our feelings and our thoughts right. about what genetics or what gene or what was it mm -hmm. called? Um, gender. Gender. Uh, should mean or what it means and what we've been uh, uh, taught all of our lives and so on and so forth. And it's about division here. Yeah. So it's doing its job. And I think they could have chosen a, a better or a different day. I understand that it's been happening and since 2019. Actually, How long has Easter been happening? Actually, 2009. 2005. March. Th no, no, no. I understand. And, and look, I'm a big Resurrection Sunday, Easter type of person. And okay. I get that, right? Yeah. But 2009. Easter usually is in April for the right. most part. It, it never changes. really lands. Yeah, right. but it never really lands in March. It's usually an April thing. Like I remember thinking a couple weeks ago, like, oh, it's on, it's in March this year. That's kind of really early for Easter. So I get that, and it is since 2009, but it was like a Trump and Caitlyn Jenner who are the ones that kind of came out saying, oh, come on, demanding an apology, which kind of makes sense when it comes to politics. I'm I don't staying know. out of it. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> There's your make a bust. Our, Paula uh, Dix. Paula Dix. <laughs> that was great. I got something here. SF Local, Eric, will you start? All right. It is 102 Jams. Uh, it is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a terrific Tuesday along with the Baker Boys. All right, guys. If you're out there hiking, be careful. In the mm. San Francisco area, the Bureau of Land Management spokesperson, Philip Oviat, told SF Gate that the process of clearing the areas that are currently unauthorized to the public ongoing, that there are unexploded grenades. Ooh, what? In what the hell? certain California uh, uh, trails. Now you know what? why I won't go hiking out here, Nick. <laughs> I, I knew there was a reason that I don't like hiking. Reason. Yeah, you know, you got snakes out there, you got bobcats, you got wild animals, you got bears, and now grenades. Uh, unexploded bears. grenades. Hiking is unsafe, guys. Bears? <laughs> He said bears. Yeah, there's bears. You're the only bear out there. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you've never seen a bear out in the woods or no. out in the mountains. This is hiking. Okay. This is not deep in the woods. We deep. just go hike. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. They're afraid of us. Just I can like understand we're afraid a of snake. Yeah. But exploding grenades, be careful out there if you're that hiking. That is weird. I know. Well, it's happening in the San Francisco area, so be careful, Jesus. guys. It's one or two jams. 100% throwbacks. I screwed that up. Thank you. That's okay. SF local. Uh, I got something. All right, here we go. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a terrific Tuesday. 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Well, guys, I did finally lose a couple pounds. Yeah! Finally, finally. Ooh. And it made me so happy. It was only two pounds. But you did. Guess, yeah, I did. I did. But eating snacks can help you actually lose weight. I didn't know this right here. All right, eating more strategically can help you lose weight. It's all about the snacks you choose. So we're talking about certain dishes or, or little snacks Snack like rarers. hard boiled eggs, yeah. nuts, apple slices, mm -hmm. hummus, veggies, and cheese sticks. Eric V tried to do hard boiled egg the other day. What happened? Don't even start. Wait, that. wait, wait. I got to hear this story. I didn't cook it long enough. Okay. I told, How, I was, I was wait, joking with Nick. What? I said, I did not cook the hard boiled, hard boiled egg long enough. So it How did not. How long did you cook it? It was like 10 minutes or something you like do that. You got to do like 12 or 13. Okay. So it was like 10 minutes or whatever. So what happened when you bit it? No, I didn't bite it, but I tried to open it. The yolk was still inside. I was like, man, I can't yeah. even make a hard boiled egg. I go, I would never be a good housewife. <laughs> <laughs> ever, ever, ever. I can't even cook a hard boiled egg, guys. It's sad. I need I need an adult class, guys. Well, you got you should boil the water first, that, and did. then you drop the egg I, in I did. with I, a spoon, though. Don't just drop it because it could crack. I don't care about that. Yeah, you should well, yeah, care because yeah, yeah. I mean it's not gonna crack. It'll bro. ruin your heart. I'm not gonna throw, just throw I'm it in. I'm trying to so. teach you how not to crack an egg in a boiling water. One, one fresh DJ asked if burritos are snacks. Yeah, no, no they're not snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're gonna fill them with hard boiled eggs and cheese sticks and apple. Are slices. you gonna try this hard boiled egg thing again? Uh, yeah, I think I'm should gonna live stream it. I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna go to YouTube and ask. <laughs> How to boil an hard boiled egg. <laughs> I bet you somebody made a video of how to do this. Yeah, of course he did. For sure, from 
from people uh, like you. you. It's probably got a million views too. Uh, <laughs> you can do it, Eric. We, we have faith in you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> try and try again, okay? Right. 102 jams, 100%, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Big uh, Troy Shelton, what up, player? Big Troy. What up, man? You know, I was thinking about this whole Diddy thing that you're we're, we've been talking about. Yeah. Like, man, I wonder what Mel is thinking right now. Mel Smith? Yeah. Not only Mel Smith, uh, presidential, uh, what's his name? Oh, you like that L.A. cowboy jacket? What's up, fool? <laughs> Sean Prez, man. That was our Diddy connection. Yeah. And Diddy did something special for J-Love and his kid, for Nick, remember? Yes, he did. He did a special shout-out. Shout out. out. Yeah. Man, we've had great, you know, relations with Diddy throughout the years. I've been to his house for parties. Oh, you have? Yeah. Did you just stay for when the devil came? No, yeah. I've left at like 4.35 oh. a.m. when they start bringing out the second round of food catered. Uh, wow. Right. Okay, so you didn't see anything funky? No. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. huh. and so, uh, this is uh, our number four, top five list. CJ uh, Quest, Stupid, All the Bad Boy Reps. Rando? Yep. I have a Rando. Let's go. It is a terrific Tuesday here at the Baker Boys Daily Show. Thank y'all for tuning in. So I got some good news for all those puppy and animal owners. American Airlines is relaxing its pet policy yeah. to allow one animal and a full-size carry-on. I like it. All right. Don't warm the boiled Baby egg in the microwave. It blows up. <laughs> the Baker Boys. Yes, indeed. I am a pet lover through and through, and I did travel with my dog once or twice. Oh, okay. It was a long trip, though. It was like a five-hour trip, and I had to give her sedatives so she would calm down. But mm. on one flight, I remember specifically, she woke up a little sooner than she was supposed to. She was mad as hell, huh? And she would not stay in her... You know her area, her little, crate. Uh -huh. her little crate. She wouldn't stay in there, so the uh, the steward was is it the flight yeah. attendant was kind enough to let me bring her out, and I was actually able to hold her oh, during wow. the flight where she was cool. Yeah, well, American Airlines has adjusted its pet policy now, allowing passengers to bring their pets into the cabin along with either a regular carry on bag or a personal item. Mm. And now I've been dealing with this because, as you guys know, I've been talking about it. I'm getting a puppy. It's not yeah. a puppy. It's a full size she, pup. She's only Bruh. 11 weeks old. She's, she's just a big. She more than us. <laughs> She's 22 <laughs> pounds. Okay. Um, but so I've been trying to bring her over from the East Coast, and I've been like trying to figure out how to transport her here. And so they do charge a pet like fee to trans transport the puppy, even right. with a person, right? Yeah. So I was gonna go fly and get her and come back with her, and it was like I had to buy my ticket plus 125. Mm -hmm. She's and already costing more. She's worth. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, she's not. Damn. But either way, they're saying passengers still need to pay a fee for their pet, but the pet no longer counts as a carry-on where before it was. Oh. So it would be like you pay your ticket, you pay your pet fee, and then you can your pet counts as one carry-on, and then you can only bring your purse. Okay. Now they're saying, hey, if you're paying for your pet, you still get your two carry-ons as well. Oh. Where do you put the pet? Because that's the third thing. Well, so it's a, you're supposed to put it underneath your... But that's what they're saying. Like, you're paying for this extra storage already. Okay, so but that 22-pound dog is not going to fit underneath your seat, oh, homie. Oh, listen, I just found out my pet can't fly on a plane. See, so. I told you. She's causing more trouble so than she's worth already. She's she, not even here. She's being transported via ground. Someone's going to drive like to... Like UPS? It's not UPS, though. They're, like, actual, like, animal United delivery Pu services. United Puppy Service? They, yeah, it's like that. Like, they go and pick her up, and okay. then they're driving her from the East Coast all the wow. way to L.A. This yeah. week. She's being transported. Yeah, tomorrow. Wow. She gets picked up. Okay. Well, make sure to send us a picture and post it so we yeah. can uh, so we can uh, talk about Ari's dog. What was the name again? Aya. Aya. Aya's on her way. Right. Aya's on her way. Congratulations to those uh, people trying to take your pets on American Airlines. Yeah. Yep. All right, this is SF Local. I bet you ain't knowing you can peel the egg by making a hole in the top or the bottom, then blowing into it. Ooh. All right, let's what? go. I got something. Oh, you got something? I know that. Say what again? Is it? SF Local. Eric, oh. I got it. All right. It is 102 Jams. Of course, 100 oh. <laughs> What's I'm this list? I'm having a list with this. All right. <laughs> it's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a terrific Tuesday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. I got Good some Bay Area trivia for you guys. Uh oh. All right. What do Matt Dre. And Jeff Gordon have in common. Jeff Gordon, the race car driver? He's from Vallejo, too. Oh, really? Besides being from Vallejo. Do y'all didn't know that either? I didn't no. know that. Okay, so they're both from Vallejo. Okay. You don't know? Anybody want to guess? No. Uh... They were both in a break dancing group in the eighth grade. <laughs> Wait a minute. Called the Unique Street Dancers. I cannot what? see Jeff Gordon, the race car driver, being in a break dancing group. He was in the same break dance crew 
with the one and only Mac Dre. No it way. Happened. What? Yeah. What, what grade was this? Uh, they were in high school, so they went to uh, wow. a junior high school. They went to Springtown, Springstown Junior High School, and they used to break dance together. That is wild. And there's actually videos of this. Yeah. Oh, my God. We got to watch that. There's videos on YouTube. This face, baby. Everything's on Jeff the internet, Gordon bro. Jeff break dances. <laughs> How fun. Jeez. Is that a little known fact for you guys out there in the Bay Area, baby. Thank you. Wake up. Good morning. Have a beautiful day. It's one of two jams. 100% throwbacks. Panda, <laughs> what up, man? 707, represent one time. All right, I got to shout out some, uh, some zip codes as okay. well. That's another SF. Oh. All right, let me get some zip codes real quick, and okay. if you guys got something, you go with your thing. Um, hey, guys, thank you for tuning in. This is behind the scenes of our daily show that we're recording right now. We are recording Tuesday, Wednesday, right, and Thursday a, show. I got SF. I got, I got uh, things. Okay, ready. Here we go. Yep. One, two, three. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. One, oh, it's 102 Jams. What the hell? 100%. 100 throwback. I was like I trying to catch on. Like, where's the I need going? a cheat sheet. <laughs> It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building on a terrific Tuesday morning. Hey, man, shout out to everybody tuned in at 95037, also 94806, and 95123. Ooh, I thought you were going to say 95122. You point, always forget. At one point, I'm going to hit your old uh, zip code. I know. <laughs> well, check this out, guys. Possible name change is coming for Oakland Airport. The Port of Oakland is considering altering the Oakland Airport's formal name, the Metropolitan Oakland International Airport. Oh, God. Officials want to replace the word Metropolitan with San Francisco Bay. So the full name would read uh. San Francisco Bay Oakland International no. Airport. Stupid. Why? Stupid. Don't you guys have other things to do in Oakland? There's right. Bigger fist to fry than like the name. Like trying to keep Denny's open, in and out, controlling the crime. Yeah. The, the crime, man. That. The crime is a bigger look, situation. I, look, I fly in and out of Oakland all the time. Yeah. And uh, It's not going to affect you either way. Don't, no, but, but I, never, time. I never even knew it was metropolitan Oakland. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm just I like, no idea. I'm landing in Oakland Airport. Well, all okay. right. So all right, well. I think it's a waste of time. Thanks for your... <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for that. that update. Thanks for wasting time. <laughs> One or two jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. I got a feel good story. All right, this is gonna be the last, last break. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to talk to Rich Dallas about Diddy. He was on the road with Cassie. Oh wow. What's up, party people? The Baker Boys in the building. It's a terrific Tuesday. And coming up, I got a feel-good story. We're talking about parents with 11 kids start a coffee shop employing their foster kids. Hey, oh. Put those kids to work. Yeah. To make some money, <laughs> double money on their kids. <laughs> 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Take it away. It's the Baker Boys on a terrific Tuesday. Before we get up out of here, it's a feel-good story. Yeah. Yeah. A Phoenix couple who had 11 children Woo. opened a unique coffee shop to help give the kids jobs who are aging out of the foster care system. So Ryan and Sarah Sinners opened Hanai, which means informal adoption. All right. Hi. Or or a cho or chosen family nice. in Hawaiian. Nice. Okay. All right. So when they noticed some older kids in the foster care were struggling with mental health issues, thought the coffee shop, uh, th uh, through the coffee shop, the couples who had been fostering parents, uh, who had been fostered, who, uh, who had been who had been foster parents for 15 years and adopted nine of the kids, provides kids uh, foster kids a uh, job training and help them succeed in the future. I think this is good. That's is really great, good. Right? Giving them opportunities at a young age. Yeah. I, I like think it. That's cool. So, little feel good story. Shout out to Ryan and Sarah Centers of Phoenix for doing this for those kids that are aging out of the foster care system. Yeah, they have something to do. They don't just go really turn over to the streets. Yeah. Right, right. that part. Turn over to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so bad. It is. The streets is waiting Every for you. Every city is terrible in the streets. You don't want to be out there yeah, with that. Nah. No guidance, you nah. no job, and nah. no future. This no. is great. More people need to help yeah. out the youth. We yes, got to go, guys. Have a beautiful, blessed, and powerful day from the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. Catch you tomorrow for Wonderful Wednesday. Uh, let me see what regular stories. I had I had a what the F news. That's what it was. <clears throat> let me go to my what the F news, guys. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in behind the Throwbacks scenes. With the Eric Prescott is going to the Patriots. Fine. Let him go. Bye. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> he can't win anything anyway. <laughs> Bum. Whoa. <laughs> All right. You guys know what you guys yep. I don't have. Uh, give me a second. I got I'm, it. I'm, I'm going to mine. All right. Let me. I'm. 
Okay, I got what the update was. Here we go. No, it's the Baker Boys with your daily fix of fun. Tune into the Baker Boys on this amazing, terrific Tuesday. Ari Rose. American Airlines is relaxing its pet policy to allow one animal and a full-size carry-on. And Disneyland attraction had to shut down after someone spreads their relative's ashes all over one of my favorite rides. <laughs> Damn. All right. With your daily fix of fun. Tune in this morning, 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. Because Ari Rose is talking about something special. Yes, if you are a puppy owner or a pet owner, American Airlines is relaxing its pet policy to allow one animal and a full-size carry-on. And Disneyland had to shut down one of its rides because somebody spread a family member's ashes all over that ride. Mm. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Thank you, DJ Quest. Appreciate that, man. You guys are dope. Keep this behind the scenes up. Gets me motivated before my show. Hey. Where you at? What show you got, bro? Let me know. What up, Ralph Salsa? All right, let me get rid of stories here. Um. Hey, how is it recording without the music beds? Is that be better for you? Recording? Yeah, yeah. Clean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I can edit videos and stuff? Yes, it's way better. Cool. As far as that goes, it's... it. Kind of like it feels weird, kind yeah. of getting used to it. You know what I mean? Because we we've been doing it for with music beds for so long, but it's just basically like a podcast where you're just talking. You know? Yeah. Um, I'm getting rid of stories, guys. Hold on one second. Uh, one zero five five five. The beat. Okay. Nice. Kid Capri, Capri checking in. What no. up, kid? Legendary. Legendary Kid Capri in the building. What up, bro? Kid Capri dropped an album not too long ago, last year, maybe sometime, bro. Uh, make sure to go check that out, stream it, mm -hmm. follow that man if you're not following him now. Yes, indeed. Kid, why don't you go ahead and chime in on this Diddy thing? Have you ever played at a Diddy party? Oh, shit. Is he on uh, Instagram? He's on Instagram, yeah. Kid Capri, tell us about Give us a Diddy story, homie. Uh, he ain't going to give no Diddy story right now. Come fool. on, man. Don't be trying to put him on the spot. Why? It's only on Instagram. <laughs> Just type it in. <laughs> he ain't going to type a whole story out right no. now. All right, fine. <laughs> then fine. Excuse my brother, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, you're ready. Eric B. still erasing. I'm erasing stories. Hold on, guys. All right, so you and I are going to do... Start. Okay, you can start. You yeah, guys You guys do make a bus. Here we go. This is... I'll start. Wednesday. I'll start on top of the hour. It is a wonderful Wednesday at the Makeup Boys Daily Show. Thank you for tuning in. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. Let's go, guys. OT Genesis publicly apologizes to Keisha Cole on stage after their feud following his sampling of her hit song, Love. All right. And also, Diddy's L.A. home is now a popular tour bus destination. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> after, federal, after the federal raid last week, we'll talk about it coming up at the Makeup Buzz. It's a wonderful Wednesday, y'all. Jeez. This is uh, National Day. All right, Eric. Uh, let me get it. I got the day, so you could start. All right, Baker Boys in the building for a wonderful Wednesday. This Something I don't like to do. It's your day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Today is National Walking Day, Ooh. a day to celebrate the easiest way and healthiest version for yourself. Walk. All you have to do yes. is walk, bro. Just walk, move your walk, little legs. Tick, 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 tick. Baker Boys daily. <laughs> Everybody get your walk on. All right, this is Baker Boys Dry Tees. Yes, y'all, Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Coming straight ahead in your Baker Buzz, Ari. Keisha Cole received an apology from OT Genesis on on her stage. Oh, uh, how I didn't even that? know they were feuding like that. No, yeah. I know. All right, so uh, D... Uh, and so, all right, Diddy's L.A. home is now a popular tour bus destination after the federal <laughs> raid last week. If you guys want to go, it's going to cost you like 25 bucks. <laughs> tell you all about it coming up next. 102 Jam. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. The Baker Buzz. From Hollywood and beyond. It is Wonderful Wednesday at the Baker Boys Daily Show. We do it twice a show, hour one and hour number three. So let's talk about this whole beef with uh, OT Genesis and Keisha Cole. Yeah, so OT Genesis had done, um, he had sampled her hit song, Love. Yeah. And apparently she was offended by it. And so they had had this feud um, because they took down Never Knew from YouTube. Oh. So they knew it was Keisha Cole. Right. So OT song was called Never Knew, right? Okay. So then she goes on Twitter and says, I don't know how to feel. This tortoise face, I can't. Like, she called him a tortoise face. <laughs> so Damn. then she was like, hope this font doesn't go over some of you lame beep, turtle head looking beep, 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 right. beep, beep, right? Oh, so they kind of go in and wow. out. 
So then OT went on live and said her private part smelled like fish sticks. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, come on, guys. So <laughs> it was going back and forth. So anyways, obviously he has apologized like way before. Yeah. They were super cool already. Is that fish already. sticks with tartar sauce or without oh, tartar okay. sauce? Okay. <laughs> uh, but anyways, at her show, um, OT re-apologized to her on mm. stage. And, you know, they shared love and stuff like that. So and, clearly. and now they're dating, of course. I wonder. Probably. I thought, yeah. Oh. This is like being a, a, in an a elementary school and you throw sand in the girl's eyes. That means you love her. <laughs> 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 Same thing. I, I see it right here. All right. So, guys, if you guys want to hit Diddy's new popular tour bus destination, you can do it. Diddy's home in Miami and Los Angeles were raided, as you all know, for the federal trafficking investigation recently. Mm. Tour bus companies in Los Angeles report an increase in business due to the interest in Diddy's home. Oh, man. What is wrong with y'all? Listen. How are you going to go to Hollywood, spend your money to go to a sexual trip? You could have done the same thing and went to the, uh, what, what's his name, uh, the Playboy Mansion. Oh, uh, Hugh Hefner. Same thing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, man, this is crazy. People are just, uh, people love drama. I just got to say it. People I mean, you wouldn't want to drive drama. past Diddy's house to see what you see? I don't care. What are we going to see? I don't care. The cops? No, oh, I care. Maybe Diddy in cuffs? No, You'd be man. the first one to break the story? This, this is the <laughs> tourists that are going to Hollywood. You guys are sick. You need to find something better to do. There's better things to do than to look at superstars' houses that you can't look inside. You can't take a tour. You're not going to come out and shake your hand and take a picture with you. No. The Rock does sometimes. Yeah, he does. He definitely yeah. does. Yeah, he's he's one of the more friendly celebrity type of guys out okay, there. Okay, yeah. so 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 The Rock, you're gonna wait for him to maybe Listen, not be. Don't be... don't crap on people that want to drive around the hills and see beautiful homes <laughs> and where celebrities live. It's lame. I'm sorry. Anyway, Baker Boys Daily. What's your next Baker Bus? All right, coming up, we got about. Uh, <clears throat> all right, coming up, we're talking about Lizzo quitting music. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What up, AJ? What up, nephew? Oh, that's crazy. We were talking about Mel Smith, Nick Vini. He showed up in the chat over here. <laughs> Mel, see? You, the power of Bro. words. Oh, man. Mel. I don't, I don't know if he's still in here right now, but we just mentioned your name, Mel, and you showed up, bro. Literally. Like, literally. It's so crazy. All right, I got some SF logo here. Eric, can you start? All right. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a wonderful Wednesday, middle, middle of the week, hump day, guys. You guys yes. ready? I'm ready for the weekend already. So <laughs> Governor Gavin Newsom made a visit to the Bay Area. Okay. Oh, okay. Wonder why? Why? Well, the installation of 480 surveillance cameras in East Bay communities in an effort to help out combat, combat the crime in the region. Mm. Oh, the okay. cameras will allow investigators to identify vehicles by searching for crime-linked vehicles by vehicle type, make, color, license plate, state, missing, wow. covered license plates, and other uh, unique features. So 480 mm. different surveillance cameras have now been Smart. installed. Yes. I think that's great. I mean, they got it, cameras everywhere already. You know what I mean? they got cameras but everywhere. But fi almost 500 extra cameras extra would cameras. be very helpful. In the East Bay communities. I mean, especially in a place that needs to be like... Policed. Like something has to happen. Something yeah. like severe has to change. It's called a state of emergency. Yeah. It's called go. bring in the National Guard. <laughs> yeah, really? No, Real seriously. Talk. You got to protect the neighborhood. You got to protect the community. You yeah, got to protect the businesses. The people that are not out there jacking people because they don't have a job and they don't want right. to work and you want to be lazy. Right. You'd rather go to jail. So, and here's the thing. These people think that they can do it and they're not going to go to jail because the lax, the laws are so yeah. laxed. Mm -hmm. Right? You've said it before. Yeah. So what happens if they get caught? They're just going to get Nothing. released again? They're they not going to keep them in jail. They get a little smack on the hand and they get let go and maybe a couple days of community service. I wonder how much money this costs to put these 480 surveillance cameras in East Bay communities. And hopefully we'll see if it makes a difference. Well, look, hopefully our tax dollars are going to it because the potholes clearly aren't getting. Yeah. <laughs> you always bring the potholes up every time. Because I hate potholes. Yeah. <laughs> My tax dollars aren't filling up these potholes. Dang it. Oh, man. It's the Baker Boys in the morning. 102 jams, 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Yo, what up, Willie? Uh, whoa, DJ. So, Willie, just so you know, we are recording behind the scenes. We do a weekly show, a daily show, actually, Monday through Friday, nationally on 29 stations around the country, including San Francisco, Las Vegas, Miami, a uh, bunch of other markets around the country. And so we're recording all the breaks for that right now. So that's what you're seeing. You're seeing we're in the future right now. So we're doing this like Wednesday show right this second. All right, where are we at now? Right now Nick? Another SF local here. I got it. Uh, okay, I had something too. Oh, well, you do yours first. All right, let me go to it real quick. Uh, okay. Oh, well, shit. All right, I got uh, one. No, go ahead. Let's go with yours because this is, I want to do this national. 
It's 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a wonderful Wednesday. You guys, I keep talking about this Costco thing. What Did about You know it? they're cracking down now, and for you to order food in the food court, you have to show your Costco membership. I mean, why, why should you anyway? I mean, when you walk in, you got to show your membership, right? Right. Yeah. Why should you have to do it again? Yeah. Oh. So how do you maybe, feel? Maybe they thought you snuck what, in. What is this with this list I today? have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fat, fat tongue syndrome. You, you've had a fat tongue all week. Yeah, man. It's not what were you doing? I don't know. Oh, He's exercising he, his tongue. No, I'm not exercising. He's not exercising. You got a wrong. lazy tongue. How's your dating life going? Uh, you're supposed to be hooking me up with somebody. Oh, we got to get back to it. Yeah, Let's meet her at Costco. Yeah, all right, bring oh. your card. Meet me in the food court. <laughs> I don't have a Wait, Costco card. I was though. gonna say maybe that's why he's single because he doesn't have a Costco card. No, that maybe is. that's why he's single. Yeah, you can meet somebody in the Costco <gasps> area, Eric. V. That's where you're missing. I will. Oh. I have never met anybody in a grocery store or a bookstore. Maybe your or wife like is that. at Costco. No, when was the last time you've been to a bookstore, bro? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying in general. I, I don't meet people like that. That's not the way it works with me. Well, we go. We we're gonna get to the bottom of this. It's one or two jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. What a beat cipher. What up, Dominguez? What a funky monkey detailing. Oh, checking in. Okay. I got something here. I asked you earlier. Let's we'll do it again. Eric, will you start? All right. Banker Boys Daily, right here on a wonderful Wednesday. All right. Who's smart enough to be on Jeopardy here? Not me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Not me either. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> so it was the 60th anniversary this past weekend of Jeopardy. We're going to celebrate them in a few. Wow. Hold on. Okay. Baker Boys Daily. Oh, boy. All right, guys. We are not smart enough to go on Jeopardy. We have no shame in saying this. <laughs> yeah. well, our show is. If it, if, are it was, you... if it was based specifically on music, I would be. I would feel confident to go. Really? Yeah. Like, okay. like. Like current music, you know what I mean? Anywhere from like 1970, late 70s to like current right so, now. So music Jeopardy. You yeah, music do. Jeopardy. Okay. Well, sign me Je- up. Jeopardy just celebrated a 60th year anniversary this past weekend. A round of applause for that. The iconic uh, show aired from the, for the first time on March 30th, 1964, Jeez. and went on to become the daytime television staple. Wait a minute. I did not know that Jeopardy was that old. 60, yeah. 60 years, bro. Wow. The wow. show's executive producer says that when you watch the original episodes, it's, remar- it's remarkable that what was created all that time ago is still a game we still, put on the air yeah. today. Yeah. Mark six mm. decades of the show. Jeopardy is holding live events across America, and we just want to celebrate them because doing anything for 60 years plus... It's a feat. Yeah. You know, totally. And it's amazing. It's generational. So congratulations to them. And maybe we can create yeah. something to last 60 years into the future. Eric I Lee. mean, the only other game would be uh, Will of Fortune um, and Price is Right. Do you remember uh, the pyramid? Uh, the $1,000 oh, $1, pyramid? Yeah. One uh, million dollar oh, pyramid. One million dollar pyramid? Yes. Yeah. Or hundred thousand dollar pyramid. I think it was. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. That was, fun. that was. I used to watch that for sure. All those game so- shows were so fun because they used to have uh, celebrities that were no longer working. Yep. On the game show, so yeah. they get, extend well, their life. My favorite show was the Gong Show, though, back in the day. The Gong Show was great. Yes. Uh, I don't think it, it was alive. It, it wasn't a game show, but it, it was It was funny. Hollywood though. Squares was a lot of fun. Yes. They tried to bring that back. They got, uh, what's his name? Uh, the skinny guy that, um, oh, God, what's his name? They got him uh, hosting it right now. Oh, okay. It's, well, uh, yeah. it's out right now? Yeah, Hollywood yeah, yeah. Squares? A DC Young Fly. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're not going to be on Jeopardy anytime soon, but no. congratulations to them. It's the Baker Boys Daily, y'all. All right. Yo, what up, Compton Museum? Checking in. What's up, guys? CPT. Uh, it sounds like static coming through the mic. You know what it is? It's my my plug right here. When I move it, it I got to get some other headphones that don't make that don't have a microphone. All right, I got some. All right. Yeah. It's the Baker Boys Daily on a wonderful Wednesday. Well, if you don't know, the big eclipse is coming April eighth. They're saying all this crazy stuff online. There's a whole conspiracy going trickery, on. Trickery, trickery. That you have to, you know, stock up and all this stuff. Oh, well, God. anyway, New York prisons are going on lockdown during the eclipse. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll talk about okay. that coming up in the Baker but oh, coming up around the corner. One or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. Go you guys have been on Hollywood Squares. No, we haven't. Thank God. Dot TV slash The Baker Boys. It is a wonderful Wednesday. The uh, eclipse is coming right around the corner. April 8th, I believe it is. Yeah. Is this supposed to be like a Y2K? 
Uh, I guess they're saying <laughs> something to that All right. effect. It's supposed to be crazy. And, you know, so people are saying to prepare for it and stock up and all that stuff. And, mm. of course, I, I haven't at all. Anyway, we're talking about New York prisons going on lockdown during the eclipse. Up next on the list of places, organizations locking down things for the eclipse. Because you know how they say the moon makes people crazy? Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Full moon and stuff right. like that. So they're taking precautions right now. It's a, uh, it's pers- its prison facilities will be on lockdown for the entire day on Monday as what? a safety precaution. For reference, the 23 facilities that will experience total darkness will be in dark from one and a half minutes to the maximum of three and a half minutes that afternoon. So, you know, when it goes dark, things go down. So anyway, the event will be the first solar eclipse in New York in almost a century. So, and despite the lockdown, the state uh, allegedly made a large purchase of solar eclipse safety glasses to contribute to the prison to contribute to the prison population. To the safety, so they're going to put them away, but they're going to give them goggles so they can't see it anyway. It don't matter. Yeah. So they wasted a bunch of our money. Wait, so it's going to be dark in the middle of the day for a minute and a half? Yes, up to three minutes. Up to three minutes. Yeah. And they're gonna they, and they close the prison down, so they they're keeping them inside. Yeah, it's locked but, down. But just in case, they're giving them goggles, just, <laughs> so the eclipse that is gonna be dark doesn't affect them. How stupid is this? I have another stupid story in regards to the eclipse. <laughs> and this is going so out, worked up. I go, love it. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys. Coming up next, stay tuned. It's the Baker Boys Daily. Nick, is the air on? Yeah, that feels like it's not on, or I'm just not getting any you of it. That big old Maybe jacket you're going on. Through menopause, like yeah. your jacket <laughs> off. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to stop this goddamn popping on my fucking headset, bro. Yeah, you need some different headphones, bro. You can't use those for this. Are you going to talk about it on the next? Um, no, because it's got to be I'm a tra- national. I'm taking my headsets off, guys. I'm just going to talk like this. It's got to be a national. It's going to be SF local. Oh, I'll, I'll save that for next hour. Yo, what up, Patrick Promo? Thank you for checking in. I have a SF. All right, here we go. SF local, Ari V, you can start. Uh, all right. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a wonderful Wednesday. So there's one really good thing that I'm excited about that's coming to California, apparently. Um, Bars will soon be required to carry roofie testing kits. Oh. A new bill will require California bars and nightclubs to have a drink spiking drug testing kits available upon request. The testing kits usually include a strip, sticker, or straw that can detect common date rape drugs. Wow. Well, th- these things should be handed out to all women before they even go men into a too. nightclub. You don't think men want... Well, I mean, they're, I they're, they're at a strip club. They're going to get roofied or something like that so they could take their money and credit cards. Like- My- my one of my close girlfriends, her husband was roofied like about really? a month ago at a bar. Huh. Yeah, and she just thought he got drunk. She, he was like, babe, I'm lost. I'm walking around. And she was like, oh, you just got drunk. She got mad at him. <gasps> and he's all, come pick me up. I can't drive. She was like, no, you can Uber home. Because she just thought like... How inconsiderate of you to go out after work and get slammed. Well, and when he got home the next, he was he got home. He was like throwing up, super sick. She was like, "What the heck?" So she watched him obviously all night. And then the next morning, he said, "Babe, I swear to you, I only had a drink and a half, and I completely blacked out." One fresh so, DJ said the Cosby test. <laughs> yeah, I mean, have you guys ever been roofied? No, no. I've been roofied twice. Really? Whoa. Yes. Where was this? Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, don't tell. Yep. Him. Coming up next, oh, we're going to tell yep. you. At Diddy's house? No, Stop. no, I didn't even hear you say that. <laughs> Ari Rose is going to tell us where she yes. got roofied. Coming up next, one or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. All right. Uh, no, AJ, that's crazy. Coachella's moving to Washington State in twenty twenty five. I got some zip codes, Nick. Okay, well, you right. start with that, and then yeah. we're going to go in back into go. her story. Let me know when you're ready. 102 Jams. 100% throwback. Shout out to the 95020, also 94605, and the 9480. Thank you for tuning on in. Earlier, we were talking about bars uh, having to carry roofie strips to right. test the drinks out. Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. said you got, unfortunately, roofie twice. Yeah. Can you give us a little detail on that terrible situation? Yeah. Uh, so the first time happened downtown San Jose um, at Wet Night Club. So if you guys are in my age bracket, early 40s, uh, you remember bracket. Wet Nightclub across from Avery down on First Street. Mm-hmm. And um, I was working there as a as a bottle service girl. And, I, you know, we didn't really drink on the job. And I remember I had had, like, half of a little sip of a drink or whatever. And the next thing you know, I started blacking out. And um, I ended up going outside to get fresh air and I kind of like blacked out. And apparently, Whoa. thank God, because I worked there, security knew me very well. And uh, they picked me up and they drove me home. 
I, I guess I must have given them like my my address and they took me home, knocked on the door. And my parents grabbed me and like took me inside the house. Damn, that's scary. But I they had to pull over apparently on the freeway because I was like vomiting on the freeway. Um, that was number one. Number two, I was in a at a uh, it was during the pandemic. I was in L.A. and this one like they had um, only open like the outside bar area. So you mm. would go inside and just order your drink and come back out. Yeah. And I remember there was like this weird guy behind me and he kept trying to show me like his bank account, like <laughs> on his phone. And Welcome he, to Hollywood. You could tell he had just gotten his tax return because there was like $1,200 in his account. And it was like, okay. Wait, $1,200 was going to impress you? I'm not, yeah, that's what I was saying. That's why I'm, But anyways, I had had one drink, one vodka soda. I go get the second one. I go sit outside. I had not even finished it. And I completely blacked out. My girlfriend had to walk me home. I remember waking up spinning, holding on to the walls. And so, you know, obviously at this time, though, what freaked me out was it had to have been the bartender oh. who put it in my drink because there was no servers. I yeah. went to the bar myself and grabbed my drink and walked out with it. So you're never ever really safe when you're in a bar. No. So this is why I'm so for all these roofie testing kits because it's really scary. Yeah. Like after and and I'm very careful. I'm not a sloppy drunk. I don't even drink like that. Well, you have to pay attention to your drink at all times. You regardless. do, but like, even if the bartender, well, yeah, you get I what mean, I'm saying. It's like you're not really safe. So, so I think this is so important. I think Did it's you, best. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't you go back and and turn that person in? Did you? Well, I mean, is there really proof? Uh, I they mean, could do a test. Probably they could run a test on. You yeah. or what you drank, it'll yeah. show up in your system, right? Yeah, I guess that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, but this yeah. is good that that women and men or and whatever men, can yeah. contest your drinks. Uh, hopefully, people are well, not out doing that. But you know, there's, there's so much that. like sex trafficking nowadays and all this stuff. Like, no one's really safe. We're living in some weird, crazy, scary times. Wow. Thank you very much for that story, yeah. Rose. So sorry that happened to you. Yeah. And we hope it doesn't happen to anybody out there, no. right? Man or woman. One or two jams. One hundred percent throwbacks. throwbacks. 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. Thank you. I got something here. This is Baker Buzz. Oh, Baker Buzz. Okay, I'm doing Lizzo. And uh, did you tease? Uh, no, I didn't Which tease. state are we from? Wanna, We're from California, bro. You do one. We're in California. Yeah, everybody shout, uh, Everybody, put your uh, state or city in the chat right here on Instagram. Shout out to everybody who is watching us right now on Twitch as well. Ooh, read what... Um what he said, there's a bar here in Oxnard that the bartenders are doing that. They were caught. Fuck them, guys. Dead ass. Shout them out. Who was it? What's oh, the Oh, there bar? was something about the strip club in Vegas I want to talk about, too. It was a what the up news. This is a Baker buzz. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, I got to get to my story. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Music off? Music off? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Was it on all this time? No, you just, hopefully you just turned it on, Eric. No, double check. Because I, I oh, didn't let me know when you're ready. One or two jams. You're the only one touching it, just so you know. I haven't. Let me know when you're ready. One, I, I get I my headset off. I can't hear it. So, okay, well, just leave the music bands off. Is it off now? It's off yeah. now. It, it's okay, though, what we just yeah. did. Well, that that okay, last gotcha. one was okay. About a month ago. So yeah. just double yeah. check. Just okay. leave the music bands off. All right, gotcha. Thank you. All right. It's a wonderful Wednesday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Coming straight ahead in my Baker Buzz. It turns out that T Pain is really good at drifting. <laughs> drifting. Drifting. <laughs> and she is fed up with it. All the things from social media. We're talking about Lizzo quitting music. Uh, admit all the allegations of things that she was doing on tour as well, though. So right, right. we'll get into that in this hour's Baker Buzz, y'all. Yes, y'all, the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Today is April 3rd. It's also Eddie Murphy's birthday. Eddie Ooh. Murphy. Funny Eddie Murphy. Funny man. So we just watched uh, Coming to America again. Yeah. Love that. Great movie. We can go back and watch his comedy specials, Raw and Delirious. Uh, Delirious was my favorite one. From the far. early 80s. Yeah. You were so young when we that came out. We were super young. We should not baby. have been watching that. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a special happy birthday to my daughter's godmother, Michelle Picard. What up, Michelle? Yeah. Happy birthday, guys. What up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building coming straight ahead in my Baker Buzz. Everybody knows who knows who T Pain is, right? Yep. yep. Well, it turns out he's really good at drifting. Do you know what drifting is? Drifting asleep. No, no. fool. We'll oh. tell you what it is coming up next. <laughs> and also Lizzo quitting music. We'll talk about it in the Baker Buzz. One oh two jams. Hundred percent throwbacks. And beyond. We specifically said no camera. It is the Baker Boys right here on a wonderful Wednesday along with Ari Rose. It's time for the Baker Buzz. Yeah, uh, T-Pain recently took part in the LZ World Tour. Do you know what that is? No. no. It's, a, it's a competition. It's a drifting battle. 
Like drifting a sleeve, no, drifting no. with a car, it's like a car. With a car. So it's you know what okay. drifting is, yeah. So, well, because um, that movie, yeah, yeah it's got like furious. seventeen. <laughs> okay. Fast and Furious thirty five. Yes, okay. Yeah, Tokyo Drift is the name yes. of the Fast and okay. Furious. So, so in a post to social media, uh, the artist revealed that not only did he take part in the battle, but he won. What? what? He won! Wow. He says, what? I can't thank the community enough for accepting me and helping me along the way, leading me up to my first battle that was also my first win. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm having a blast with all of this, man, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Wow. Wow. So he shared footage uh, of the race, and you can even hear the announcers getting more and more excited as T-Pain <laughs> keeps kicking the other competitions, but uh, in his first ever competing. They should have put auto-tune on the announcers while they were playing <laughs> <laughs> That's All right, hilarious. so Lizzo took to social media telling her fans that she is done and dealing with the hassle of fame. All I want to do is make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better. Uh, but she said, I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. So she's yeah. quit. She said, I am done. She's out of it altogether. I think it's sad because there's so much bullying and trolling. I even saw Azalea Banks reacted to Lizzo yeah. saying that. And she said, why are you playing a victim when you gave the public a license to laugh at? with you whoa you know that's not nice what, what does that mean well a license to laugh at. I, I think what she's probably saying is because you know the like the type of stuff she'll wear on stage and things yeah. like that you know it, putting herself out there i mean she's obviously comfortable in her own skin and, and that's all that matters that. yeah like she pointed out like oh your handle is lizzo be eating like you gave the public a license to laugh okay, at you let me speak to this real quick because as a heavier individual and always being heavier throughout my I'm gonna say my childhood but yeah I was okay. not uh, a fine and fit young man okay. I thought that taking on all of the criticism or even criticizing criticizing myself self right. deprecation is mm -hmm. a way for me to stop people from being mean right and calling me fat mm -hmm. right. calling me this calling me that I, agree. I do it myself you take away that power I take from away them. their power so I think yeah. that's a, that's what she was doing yeah but um I think she's an incredible artist uh, and I'm sad to hear that she's being bullied to the point where she wants to not be in music any, anymore. But mm -hmm. she's like, I don't want to be in this world. It doesn't feel like they want me in it anymore. You are an inspiration. Let me just talk to Lizzo. You're an inspiration to so many women and men yes. out there that have the light of love and God and joy within them. Do not let these small-minded individuals out there that hate their lives so very much that they think that they, they have the uh, uh, okay to hurt you and say hurtful words towards right. you because right. they're insecure about who they are. There's right. something I want to add to this story. I seen this the other day. It says, and, it, and you've brought this up many times, of words you say are spells, right? Mm -hmm. So it says, anything that you say after I am, you become. Because yeah. words cast powerful, powerful spells. Yeah. That's why it's called spelling. It's like mm -hmm. you said, Nick, many times before. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I just, I wouldn't worry about what everybody else says. Because they're going to say what they're going to say. No Regardless. matter yeah. what. Oh, yeah, for sure. People have to find something to complain about or somebody to be unhappy about. I do it myself. So, I, I get it. I understand it. And that's your Baker Buzz, guys. Yes, have local. I have one. Uh, no entertainer will go their whole career without criticism, whether image criticism or constructive criticism, but it would always it is always going to be there. You're thousand percent, Willie. And you don't have to listen to it all. And I have to go to the bathroom, guys. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bathroom break. Pop one of those buttons up there. Anyone. There you go. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Nick Vieri, Vianari Rose in the building for a uh, recording session. If you guys don't know what we're doing, what we're up to. We're doing a live broadcast of our behind the scenes recording. And now we're broadcasting on Instagram as well. So you can see us live on there. So thanks to Eric V and all of his technical savviness uh, for getting us to be on Instagram live at the same time as Twitch. And for those on IG live, if you do not know, we're on Twitch broadcasting live and it's a different experience. So you might want to download that Twitch um, app to your uh, phone so you can see us live there as well. You can tip us. You can... Um, do all kinds of emojis and stuff on the screen. So that's a, a lot of fun. Rita, Nata, what's up, baby girl? Thanks for tuning on in. An incredible artist. Um, I'm trying to think where you're from again, mama. Put it in the chat. I know you're, you're from the other side of the world. She has incredible music. If you have not discovered this artist, if you're on IG Live, she's on with us right now. Make sure to follow her and get some of her music on wherever you guys stream your, your music. I think you'd really enjoy it, uh, Ari Rose. Rita Nata. She's in Rita Morocco. Nata. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, oh, I'm going to have to follow her. Please do. And check yeah. out her music on on whatever like streaming on. service you do. 
Okay. Because she makes some incredible music. We love her. I love her. We support her. And uh, she deserves all the eyes and um, attention that she can get from you guys out I love there. it. Rita Nata. Rita Nata. And shouts out to Scottsdale, Arizona. Willie. Whoa. DJ in the house. I am I, Ari Rose just joined oh, us I as well. Her. Yeah, please go check her out. Stream her music, man. I just followed her. It's, it's so amazing. I was trying to see if there was a way where I can add as a collaborator on here. But there's not. It's so crazy. She makes She's an independent artist. She's not signed to a record label. And you could just hear the... Just, you, you just, I can't even explain it. Y'all gotta, once you hear it, you're gonna fall in love. Ain't no lie. I don't what lie hour, about music. What hour are we in, babe? We are in hour number three. This is okay. SF Locals. All right. All right. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go back in. Eric V is back. What do I have for the babe? I have an SF Local here. Okay, cool. I just need Eric V to start it. Rita, what up? Rita, how are you? That's the home Morocco. Wow. She's an incredible artist. Eric That's v. dope. What kind of stuff does she do? It's, I would say, um, I would compare her to Sade. Oh, Ooh, snap. You That's just... a great comparison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a hell of a comparison. Yeah, you don't, you don't do that often. All right, I have an SF logo, so you're going to go ahead and start it, please. All right. It is 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks on a wonderful Wednesday with the Baker Boys. Well, it wasn't wonderful for a United Airlines flight out of SFO that had to make an emergency landing again. Oh, no. In Denver. I I feel like I do not want to fly out of SFO because there's been so many problems with planes. It's not the airport. It's the planes. I don't know. I think it's something to do with both. I think it's the planes and the airport. Well, I had to uh, make an emergency landing in Denver, and there was an issue with one of the engines. Oh, Jesus. And there was a trip they had to go with this one uh, to Paris. It was eventually canceled, and the airline says it's working on providing customers with travel options. I would be so pissed off if I'm on my way to Paris, and I have to make an emergency landing anywhere. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to get to Paris, and now <laughs> I got to stay in Denver for a night while y'all figure out where I'm going to go, how I'm going to get there. And Denver is always cold as hell. Oh, boy. And that airport in Denver is very, very um, special. Il- Illuminati is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it says it's right there. It says it's the uh, Illuminati Airport. You yeah. got to look into it. Yeah. No you, way. Yeah, there's a whole Girl. story about it, yeah. The Denver Airport is, uh, how would you say? Illuminati Central? That's it's what it hub? says. They put it right there. It was, it's right there in your face. Yeah, they, they put it out there. Anyway. No. Yeah, something with me. the horse I'm, statue I'm already going to the stuff. Google. No, go look it up. Yeah, there's stuff out there. Denver a, Illuminati. Yeah, there's a blue horse statue airport. with red eyes yep. that overlooks the, uh, the airport. And they say that there are uh, many caverns and underground Under, uh, underground yes. underground uh, uh bases or something underneath the airport really? as well all right guys we love you 102 jams 100 <gasps> percent look throwbacks. at this horse with the eyes yep telling you hold on um let me see if i have this story here oh there are some creepy stuff all over the all right guys let walls. me get to my what the f news stuff that i had well we got an sf local so all right we'll start it you ready something? yeah let's go all right here we go 102 jams Hundred percent throwbacks. <laughs> the Baker Boys and Arnie Rose in the building for a wonderful Wednesday. What is something you appreciate so much more now that you've become older? Okay, well, that's <laughs> he a took lot. a deep breath on this one. Well, oh, come on, family. You know, time yep. time with loved ones. Yeah. Uh, making memories. You know, what I mean, being with the uh, the grandchildren. You know, there's so mm. much. There's so much uh, to to be thankful for. When you're younger, you're just going through life. You're going through life. You're trying to survive. You're trying to create and build something for yourself, and you got blinders on. Yeah. And you're just going, 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 and you miss you miss Christmas. You miss mm-hmm. a Thanksgiving, and before you know it, you know you haven't seen your parents in five years, mm-hmm. or your you know what I mean, or your cousins for that matter. I haven't seen my cousins on my mom's side, on our mom's side, for twenty plus years. Yeah, for a long time. Wow. Literally. Wow, that's crazy, isn't it? Crazy how fast time flies. Yeah, it does. I Definitely think one does. thing for me is more like the simple things. Like? Like cooking at home and just like sitting on my couch with a cup of tea and watching a movie, like actually slowing down. Because it's like you said, and especially in the industry we're in, it's always like go, 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 stay on top, stay on top. And if you're not there, you ain't anywhere. Yeah, stay relevant. If you ain't seen, you ain't clean. Out of sight, out of mind. That's bull. You know, so yeah. yeah. How about you? Uh, well, let me see. What, what what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Thank you, boys, daily. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. <laughs> What the heck? You're Bro, not sorry, Willie. Dude. I, I was paying attention to a question over here. Willie was asking. Okay, well, we're um, recording. Let me so. see. Yeah. It'd be I good gonna, to get your input. I, I was going to talk. Oh, okay, I got something right here I want to talk about. 
All right, try to don't don't answer any questions that he asked you live on the air. <laughs> like, what? Sorry, what, what are you talking huh? about? <laughs> wow. Baker Boys and Ari Rose in a building for a wonderful Wednesday. So the other day I was doing a stream. You know, I've been doing a Funky Friday stream on Fridays on Twitch lately. Mm -hmm. And I was asking everybody what was their first car ever that they owned. Uh, uh, mine was a Ford Thunderbird. It was a gray Ford Thunderbird. But it also led me to the point where me and Nick would share a car back in the day. Oh, hold on. That story is coming up next. Baker Boys Daily. That was a tease. This is an hour number four. I thought tease. it was a national. No, this is a national, but uh, it's a tease I, for a story. Okay. So, I, so we'll that's do, fine. We'll, we'll, use that. yeah. we'll go into it. That's fine. Right. Let's thank God. Ash, the Baker Boys. Baker Boys Daily along with Ari Rose in the building. Your first car. Eric V was talking about it earlier. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a Ford Thunderbird. I think it was, I can't remember the year. It had, it had like 88 be, or it had, something. It had to be like 85. or No, I think it was 88. You're right, Nick V. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, Ari, what was your first car, by the way? Um, 1996 Mitsubishi Eclipse Silver. Silver? And I used to have the combat kit on it. With Com what is the combat kit? Spoiler. And it was like, you a little fast little driver? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was Tokyo drifting combat. in the bay. <laughs> All right. So I, do, I just wanted to talk to Nick V about this. I wanted to see how he felt about this because, you know, we made a move from the hometown we're from to Los Angeles back in 93. But Nick was too young to drive. So we had to share a car. Yeah. And Nick hated it. He absolutely hated it because if I didn't want to go anywhere, which is most of the time, he couldn't go anywhere. That didn't own. stop me, though. That I, I know me. it wouldn't <laughs> stop you. But I'm saying, how did you feel about that when we were sharing our Ford Explorer? I mean, I, I, I felt gratitude. I had a big brother to drive me around everywhere. I got drunk, <laughs> and it was cool. <laughs> You, you had a nice feel, sound system and everything. You weren't frustrated? You weren't angry that you couldn't drive yet? No, because as soon as I could drive and as soon as I got my own car, I was out. I was yes. gone. Yeah, Nick was always gone once he got his first car. Well, how do you feel about that? Since, what? Ever since I got my car, then I was gone. Did you feel hurt? No, I didn't feel hurt at all. I felt you didn't like, miss me? You know, I, of course, I, I missed you, but I always wanted you to be safe. But I wanted you to drive, you know, not... When you're drinking, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, so. Well, thank you very much. You want to be my DD now? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> uh, I, I've always told you this. You know that. I've told you, no matter where you're at, no matter what time, if you can't drive, call me. All right. I've told you this. Can I call you too? Nope. Damn! <laughs> I'm gonna be like Airbnb. I Wait that close, homie. <laughs> yeah, you got a man? Don't you got a man to call? You call Uber. <laughs> you, you haven't even got off the do not disturb list, bro. <laughs> That's a, damn. Yeah, you're right. I break through them yeah. every day. Baker oh. Boys Daily. Thanks, Airbnb. All right. I had a 1987 Honda Civic. It had to press on the gas That's a couple good. times before I can start it. Fuel injection, something like that. Any car is cool when it's your first. <laughs> A green Ford Courier, 70-something. We call it the pea shooter. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the Eclipse was the car to have in the 90s. All, All right. right. This is SF Local. Anybody? Uh, um, this is, let's see here. We got one more show to do, so. Uh, no, I know. I know. I know. I'm just I'm trying to see um, anybody got anything. You want to talk about the dating stuff again? Let's, we, yeah, let's you know, bring that let's, back. Let's go that. Okay. To say, you know, you've been wanting to hook me up, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. What's up, party people? The Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building for a wonderful Wednesday at one or two jams, 100% throwbacks. Throwbacks. We've been talking about Eric V's dating. Or lack of dating. Lack of dating. Yeah. We're trying to get him connected. We shouted out everybody here in the Bay Area. I haven't got one shout out yet, by to the way. To please hit Eric V in his DM <laughs> and maybe go on a date with this luscious Mexican this man. This juicy man. Yeah. <laughs> We want to hook this fools. juicy man up. Um, All right, so Ari, you have a lot of friends, right? Yeah. So you've never hooked me up. Nick has never hooked me up with anybody, ever, ever brought anybody to my attention. What? Or, hey, I got this nice girl. I think you... You might get along. I got you, this nice you, girl. You know my you know my demeanors. Like you know me more than anybody else knows me, Nick. You, you totally know, do. Maybe every time I go out now, I'm gonna like start having my eye open to like find a nice girl for Just him. take Eric V with you. Oh my god, he will not come. Bro, Eric V, you will get so much attention hanging out with Ari Rose, bro. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's true. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I Ari, mean, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, Ari. When a woman when a man walks in with a Put together woman, and she's, you know, she's doing it. She's doing the damn thing visually. What does that signal to you as a woman? Uh, that he's worth value. He's valuable. Bam. 
It's very true. simple. It's very, very simple. He's your true. new wingman, homie. It, it, it signals to me that he might be paying or he might be driving or he's just, you feel bad for him. Why don't we go to Costco together this week? I don't want to. I don't want to go to Costco. I'm not going to find a girl at Costco, bro. Listen, you got to stop saying you're not going to find a girl, first of all. it's I, I'm, I'm saying not going to find a girl at Costco. Okay, I've never met anybody in a public place like that. He doesn't want to. I'm go gonna to take Costco. you to. I'm gonna take him to Costco and then a bookstore this weekend. Okay, and and you guys report back in. I don't yeah. even read, bro. It's okay. Well, you can pretend. It. Fake it. He's gonna have the book upside down open. <laughs> take him to the romance novel section. Yeah, put me in the Kama Sutra area. Oh, what if I? What that. if I take? Oh, I don't want to go with him to a sex store. But what no. if we take him to a sex store? No, nah, I mean, I'm how cool. many times have you went uh, 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 by yourself to a sex store? You. Uh, a few times. Oh, you have? Yeah. But you're not in there looking for a man. You're obviously looking for something else to replace a man. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, sex okay. store is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Wake Up Boys Daily, where do you think we should take Eric V on a date to find yes. a high-level woman? We need help, guys. One or two jams, 100% throwbacks. <laughs> All right, everybody in the chat, where do you think is a good place to take Eric V to meet the woman of his dreams? We can continue this conversation in the next break if you Here want. Here we are. Yeah, I'm just waiting for somebody in the chat to put it Sex in. Sex store, don't pull a ditty. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Waiting for the chat. Waiting for the uh, chat. I, lo I love how Eric carries himself. Great attitude. Thank you, BNS. Uh, so response. Thank you. What's saying it? Oh, rest and break. Roger Dodger uh, checking in. Thank you, bro. What up, Panda? Uh, Trader Joe's or Trader Ho's shopping. <laughs> oh, my God. Where is the best place to meet a woman, guys and ladies? Become a little league coach. No, because if I do that, that's all that's all moms. I don't want I don't want a woman with kids. No. No kids for me. I don't I don't ever want to have a I don't want to ever What if they have 40-year-old kids? I don't care if they have 30-year-old kids. <laughs> I just don't want them. A Cowboys game? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know. It could be it. Some people could be annoying though. So, uh, have Eric help you at farmers market, Nick. I'll tell Nick. Dog park would be got good if I had a dog again. You can borrow my dog. Your dog's too big. Is she like, little? I like she's twenty dogs. pounds. I like small dogs. You can take her while Dude, she's my dog, little. My dog weighed like ten pounds or fifteen pounds. You can pounds. take her while ten, she's little. While she's little. Yeah. Uh, you want to see her new updated stuff? Oh yeah, so she's gonna good. show me updated picture right here. So this actually shows how. So he was trying to show me how big she is. Yeah. Video. So that's like not even a foot high. Right. See, so she's like super short. She's yeah. still tiny. She's still a little puppy. No, I know she's she's cool right now. She's good right now. It's just when they get bigger, they just slobber like Look. mothers. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Yeah. Uh, at look at me in a seventeen-year relationship, the senior citizen home. F you, dragon. Damn. All right. So anybody put it in? Sage there? Whittier. Uh, spirits game. Car shows. And you will kind of right. know to have some. some interest in what you like. Here we go. Is it off? Yep. It's the Baker Boys Daily along with Ari Rose at 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks. throwbacks. Earlier, we're talking about Eric V's dating or lack thereof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to connect him with a high value woman. You know, I had a whole, whole idea about this whole dating thing. I was thinking like. You know, I would like to go on a vacation. I want to make women like, what was it called? Like try out, <laughs> like try out. The hell! And, and the winner, the winner will get a trip to Cabo with me for this the weekend. Is the bachelor? Yeah. The hell, Eric. V. I've been wanting to go to Cabo for a long time, but I have nobody to go with. I wish you guys would have seen Nick's face. I'm screaming. <laughs> this is like this is like draft day where you draft a new player oh my, and they're combine. trying out. And it's they're a just combine. A, it's like an Eric V combine here. What do you think? I think you got. I'm, I'm paying for the trip. No, it doesn't matter. But your thought process is all backwards. How you want to make these women compete to go with you? Yeah, to Cabo, a free trip to Cabo. Why not? And, and you get to know somebody over the weekend, right? When you stay with somebody, I mean, I'm not going to put no pressure on nobody or anything like that. But so sex is not. Uh, no, required. it's not a pre prerequisite. No, really? No. Oh. Well, that's nice to know. That's that's a good thing. Yeah. It's not. And you're not going to roofie them. No. Right? I don't even know. He okay. doesn't even drink. So you no, want I don't these, drink. You want these women to compete. What are some of the competitions that you're going to put them through? 
she's uh, man, just hanging out. Just, they, just, but, I just, no, but how are they going to compete for yeah. your love? Oh well, they they gotta they gotta give me uh, maybe write an essay. <laughs> An essay. What is the topic uh, going to be? A book uh, report. What do you want? A uh, three, a uh, five hundred word essay on how they should be my date for Cabo. Chosen. Yeah, they're the chosen. Yeah. What, are their, to to what are their qualifications? What like, you, no, that's what they could write about. Like, why they feel like they're qualified, they're qualified, to, go qualified to go with you. Right. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. It's just an idea, guys. I, I just thought. Okay. About that. So if women write us a letter, <laughs> five hundred page. Uh, essay. essay, not page, include word. a picture, five hundred word. word essay. Oh, and it, it has to have a photo. Yeah, well, well, duh. But maybe we should just do like a love is blind. No, no, kind. no, no, no. I'm not paying for no <laughs> blind date, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you are tripping. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool on that. All right, guys, if you just tune in, we're talking about Eric V and his dating life, and he said he wants to make people, uh, ladies, uh, compete to get a free trip to Cabo. Yeah, wow, it's out of my pocket. By the way, <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't a station. Uh, what was it called? Event. Promotion? No. Oh, we should do like different types of competitions. Such one as one could be write the essay. The other one could be who plays Madden the best. No, no, Ooh. I don't want a girl that plays Madden. Why? Why? Because I what, just don't. What's wrong with the gamer girls? I'm, yeah. I don't mind gamer girls. There's I a lot just, of hot ones out there. I don't need a girl that plays Madden. So just all right. That's just an idea, guys. I was just throwing it. Right, I was just so spitballing. It sounds like it. he wants the essay. Yeah, we're trying to help you he, out here. He wants love letters, and we're trying to help you find a woman here. Yeah. So just think about it a little bit more oh, yeah, yeah. some of the competitions that you yeah. want to put forth for these women to join you for a all expense paid trip with dinner flight uh what else a massage uh what else what else oh Jesus. now you're adding to the cost yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. chill chill homie <laughs> don't, don't, be, don't be adding on my bill a spa day bro massage all Calm inclusive down. she gotta earn that she's gonna earn <laughs> she can't just i'm just not gonna get her that just because he's getting so nervous come now. on man he, he's gonna reject here, all the essays i'm gonna be broke after this weekend bro <laughs> so baker boys 102 jams 100 percent throwback get me out of here <laughs> you brought it up fool this is your competition that's it <laughs> Coffee. There breakfast. are a lot of single DJs. You are interested in female DJs. I wouldn't mind a female oh. DJ. I don't. I don't mind that. That's something we have uh, in common. Hilarious. Obviously. Oh, what's next? Um. All right, Eric V. Did you talk about <coughs> the animals that people think they could beat in a fight? Yes. Yeah. It was the a while bear. Back. Remember we uh, had. I got a list. I got a list of uh, travel places coming up. Okay. Uh, right. Let me go with that. Hold on. This is national, right? National. Last two. All right. Let me see here. Uh, I gotta find it so as soon as I get back. This fucking shit is crazy over here. Uh, if not, I can pull up a, a list. No, I have it. I just there's just so much prep on this paper <laughs> that I'm just like trying to scroll through everything. I know I have it up on top over here. Um, okay, gotcha. I got it. Yo, what up, Joy Boy? It's a wonderful Wednesday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose. Coming straight ahead, Eric V. All right, the summer is closer, and we're going to talk about the most popular summer travel destinations for 2024. Let's get into it. One or two jams. 100%, 100 throwbacks. throwbacks. Last break. B, take it away. It's the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. It's time for your summer vacation. Yes, vacation <laughs> season is upon us. And we're talking about the top travel destinations for summer 2024. Google's list is based on the most searched destinations by travelers in the U.S. between June 1st and August 31st. So let's talk about the list right here. And you guys okay. tell me yay or nay on where you would like to go. Ready? All right. All right. London. No. Paris. Yes. Maybe. I heard it stinks. I said yay or nay. Oh, nay. <laughs> Rome. Nay. Yay. Okay. Tokyo. Yay. yay. New York City. Nay. nay. You said yes? Yay. Oh, wow. All right. Cancun. Yay. All nay. right. Orlando. Nay. nay. Las Vegas. Nay. It's always good to go to Vegas, summer right? Summer vacation. But, I well, guess. not for yeah. summer, though. Well, you got to fight with all the people at the, at the pools. The nasty people <laughs> in the pools. I'm going to say nay. I have I don't, better places to I don't know how in. this came up on the summer 2024. Seattle, 2024. Nay. On the most wanted popular destinations. What? Nay. This last one I would love to go to, Athens, Greece. Yes. Yeah? Right. Yeah. 
Sure. All right, so what do you guys think about the list? Just take me out the country. It's just okay. And for couples, the summer top <laughs> destinations are Turks and Caicos, which is also the number one destination for families. Mm. Also, Bali, Indonesia comes first for solo travelers. There you go. Ooh. There you go. I will go to Bali or Indonesia. Maybe you'll find a wife over there. You oh, will. yeah. He'll definitely. never come back, though. I, I, I don't Bye. either speak English. As long broken as he's happy English, and in love. I'm good. He, yeah. says, he said they don't have to speak English. No. Nah. No, they ain't got to do even anything. Better. No, it's even better. It's little, yeah, Eric okay. V. If you want to go uh, Indonesia, though, huh? Yeah. What about Taiwan or uh, Thailand? Yeah, Thailand will work too. All right. So all you need to know is this right here. Sawatika. Sawatika. There you are. What does that mean? Hello. How oh. are you? Oh, okay. Eric V. We love you. All right. We're gonna find you love, even if it's across the world. Yeah. Yes. That's fine. We gotta go. Have a beautiful, blessed, and powerful day from the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. All right. Promo. Uh, what did I do? I didn't do any randos. Um. I'm going to do the, oh, uh, New York prisons. Did I do that today for this show? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm going to do that. I did all the locals, so. <clears throat> Seattle, it was uh, in a, what? Seattle in Wave AK? What? A vodka? Come to a house, I got pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richard Kimmel, that's right. All right, got it. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I'm trying to figure I don't it. have anything. I didn't do any of the national breaks. Um... All right, let me go back, I guess. Hold on. How about, Nick, I want you to say we reminisce about our first car. You know? Okay. We oh, talk yeah, about that. So we'll go with that. And I'll do the Baker the Boys was your account. daily fix of fun. Tune into the Baker Boys show today. We're reminiscing about our very first car that we ever owned. Yeah, we shared one back in the day. And mm. also, New York prisons are going on lockdown during the eclipse. So... Things happen, crazy things happen when something is affecting the sun or the moon. So we'll talk about that. Need to repair my jacuzzi. You have a jacuzzi? Yeah. What a candy so fun. One or two jams, 100% throwback. Today, we're going to be throwing it back to our very first car that we co-owned together, Eric. Yeah, and also we're talking about my dating life and my Cabo uh, extravaganza that I'm trying to offer. We have a competition, guys. Yeah, ladies, not guys, ladies. Oh, ladies, you can enter now. Enter to win an all-expense-paid trip to Cabo with Eric V, the yes. single man here. We'll give, we'll give you more details today. All right. Okay. All right. What up, Charlie Maybe Molina? Now. You're going to the bathroom now? Yep. All right. Ari is going to the bathroom. I'm deleting stories, guys. Oh. Thank you guys for tuning in behind the scenes. My name is Eric V. My brother, Nick V. Of course, Ari Rose. She just went to the bathroom. You guys are watching a behind the scenes recording of our daily syndicated show. We're on over 30 stations around the country and also doing mornings in San Francisco, afternoons in Las Vegas, afternoons in Miami and all across the country uh we have california kind of sewed up so we're on a lot of stations in california but spreading around the country every single day so thank you guys for tuning in tuning in behind the scenes this is what you're seeing uh, our recording of that show so you guys are getting a sneak peek before and jamming 1057 in vegas yes richard kimball is always tuned in over there man thank you willie whoa where are you from willie let me know uh wives plural werewolves seattle is gorgeous in the summer speaking from first-hand experience yeah i'm not saying it's not gorgeous i just don't think it's a destination i don't think it's a destination place for summer travel yeah what else are you doing what what is there to do yeah um that we probably don't know about in seattle i'm sure there's lots of things but where's the, what's the attraction uh that, yeah right I mean, the needle the space needle i mean the, it's farmer, the it's market clo it's close to canada i, I want to go to canada when i go out there one time <clears throat> um, are we in El Paso? Let's see I here. believe we are. I don't think so. Hold on, let me tell you. I'll tell you what cities we're in right now. Hold on. Uh, maybe we'll do the shows. Maybe there's, uh, let me see. Affiliates. 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 Where are the fucking... I have a list, guys. I'm, I'm trying to find it, though. Um, maybe it's over here in radio. I have folders upon upon folders upon folders. Uh, ah. Hold on. <laughs> what happened? No, my bank buzz. <coughs> it's hilarious. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see here. Damn. I know I have a list. Did we get a, uh, oh, here it is. Monday through Friday. Where is that? Monday through Friday. Okay, here we are. Here's the cities we're in, guys. 
We are in Riverside, San Bernardino, Oxnard, Bo Barstow, Roseman, California, Burlington, New Jersey, San Francisco, Miami, West Palm Beach, Fort Collins, Las Vegas, Albuquerque, Santa Fe, Clarksdale, uh, I think it's Missouri, Fresno, California, Plattsburgh, Chattanooga, uh, Paducah, Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Bakersfield, Lansing, Euclair, Euclair, I don't know where that's Where's at. Chattanooga? Uh, Tennessee. Oh. Uh, Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas, I believe. Uh, Wichita Falls, which is in Texas, I believe as well. Gainesville, Florida, Ocala, Florida, Crystal Lake, Florida, and Elmira. Those are the cities you can hear us on every single day, Monday through Friday. All right, make a bus. Here we Let's go. go. Uh, <laughs> AJ said, going on a cruise, and uh, I got it, Nick. Going on a cruise in a harbor, boating the Lake Union, Space Needle Museum, and pop culture. That's what AJ says. Thank do. you, AJ, because you live there. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. It's the Baker Boys on a Thoughtful Thursday. Eric V, Nick V, and Ari Rose. What up? Hey, so Pharrell Williams is working on a musical based on his hometown. And Tom Cruise has been permanently banned from ever owning a Bugatti. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, Whoa. It's a funny story, guys. Jeez. One of the richest guys, right? Yeah. He can't buy one. They won't allow him to buy one. That's crazy. Oh, it's coming up in the Baker Buzz this hour. Welcome to this Thoughtful Thursday, Baker Boys Daily. All right, this is National Days. I got it. Baker Boys and Ari Rose on a thoughtful Thursday. Well, you know you like that movie Twins, right? Yeah. Yes. That, that one line in the movie. Today, Today is your day. Today is your day, bro. This is totally your day in every way, shape, or form. It's National Burrito Day. What? what? And it's I, I, and it's Jeep four by four day, oh. Nick V. You have a oh. Jeep. Oh, it so is your day. day evidently, day, April fourth. Yeah. yeah. April fourth. You got to go eat a burrito while you're, you're driving doing some your four by four climbing. Sounds. Dangerous. It does. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need a lot of gas. You're gonna get a lot of gas out of that. Baker Boy Daily. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> All right. Thoughtful Thursday with the Baker Boys and Ari Rose in the building. Coming up next. Why is Tom Cruise permanently banned from ever buying a Bugatti? Uh -oh. uh, I'm interested to hear Haters. that. Pharrell Williams is working on a musical based on his hometown. Nice. One or two jams. 100% throwbacks. Attention. The Baker Buzz from Hollywood and beyond. And it is time for your Baker Buzz. How would you like to be one of the most uh, richest. recognized, richest <laughs> actors in Hollywood, but you can't own a specific car? Give us the details behind this story and why Tom Cruise can't own a Bugatti. Well, he's known for his daring stunts and blockbuster movies, and he has been permanently banned from purchasing a Bugatti sports car. <laughs> The ban stems from an incident in 2006 when Cruz struggled to open the passenger side door of his Bugatti, Vevron, at the premiere of his Mission Impossible I 3. remember that. So the French car company, Bugatti, viewed this as a slight <sighs> embarrassment and decided to ban Cruz from future purchases. Okay, now, does this include <laughs> used Bugattis? I was just like, how, say how that. are they going to control you, that? Right. They're not going to sell him anymore. I know they're not going to sell, but what if some used car, or the guy that, that somebody that owns it, maybe they sell it to him? Well, I think Tom is embarrassed enough uh, as it is. He, <laughs> right. he doesn't need another embarrassing moment. Okay. So, um, I'm but not I feel sure. like that's so sensitive on Bugatti, too. Like, Yeah, it's very egoic. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I've had trouble opening the Tesla doors, but now that I know how to open them, you know, it's different. Tesla's very tricky when right? you first Our get Our sister in hates one. those doors. She's like, these are terrible. Yeah. I love the car, but it needs to be redesigned. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. So. Well, Pharrell Williams is working on a musical based on his hometown. Yay. Awesome. Um, it will be loosely based on his experiences growing up in Virginia Beach. And rumor has it that Williams would produce the film, would which will be set in 1977 and take inspiration from his time living in the Atlantis apartments. Okay. Uh, Michael Gondry would direct the film and Kelvin Harrison Jr. would play the leading role. The film is in development at Universal, but no release date has been set yet. Are you guys going to watch this? Very interesting. Yeah, I'm down. I'm a Pharrell fan. I'm a, a, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of those guys. I'm a big fan of Pharrell, but not a fan of musicals. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, Something about musicals get under my skin. <laughs> just really. All they just, do is sing everywhere. Yeah, everything. <laughs> like you'll be like in the middle of a, a play or something. They're they're acting, and then all of a sudden they go into a song, and I'm like, Yeah, it's just weird for me. Like, why do you have to sing the words? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's it's called a musical. No, I reason. know, but you get what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, I like, know. Listen, before there was television and Instagram. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right, there was <laughs> stage. 
Oh, right? yeah. I know. I, mean, I understand that. I'm a theater major. I love going to, pl- I don't mind going to plays. I love going to plays. I yeah. will go to plays. I've I been to many too, plays. But I'm just not a fan but of musicals. Not a musical fan. Nobody is. I don't think I am either. <laughs> <laughs> nobody is. Well, no, I mean, nobody here on this show. Right, right, right. right. That's all. Yeah, no, okay. for sure. All right. All right, there's your Baker Buzz coming up in the next Baker Buzz. Oh, have you guys heard about this? What? Russia has just announced that Jesus was actually black. Oh, Oh. okay. (laughs) Coming up next. (laughs) Not your laugh. Like what? (laughs) What up, witchy? Um, actually, I don't have that story. So I mean, coming up in the next Baker Buzz. I got one. The Russia thing? Yeah. Hold on. All right. All right. Anyway. There's your Baker Buzz coming up in the next Baker Buzz. Russia has announced that they are looking into putting together a video console, video game console. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like Russia. where though? Everywhere. You know, oh. he wants to compete against PlayStation and Xbox. And PS. Oh, got yeah. it. Right. Video game console. All right. Uh, SF locals. All uh, right. I got something. Rando. Mm-hmm. All right. You, you ready? Start. Hey, man, it's the Baker Boys, along with Ari Rose, right here for a wonderful Wednesday, 102 Jams, 100% throwbacks. Wait, right here for a thoughtful Thursday, 100% throwbacks. This Turkish bride and groom chose their wedding banquet to serve 4,000 Syrian refugees instead of throwing a lavish reception party for their guests. Wow. Oh. Isn't that cool? That's yeah. super cool. You're like, we're, we're not going to do this regular stuff. It's it's a, I'm going to say it's a waste. You know what I mean? But when you do these mm-hmm. extravagant banquets, you know, and mm-hmm. these people eat, it's one night only. But in a heartwarming act of generosity, the bride and groom from Turkey decided to forego that traditional lavish wedding reception. Instead, they dedicated, instead dedicated their wedding bouquet, a uh, banquet, excuse me, to feeding 4,000 Syrian refugees. This remarkable Couple chose to celebrate their union by giving back to those in need. I think that's an that's incredible super that awesome. is super nice. Yeah. They they just uh, said, it's not about us. It's about people that are starving. Hello. Yeah, help them out. Yeah, I think everything, uh, like I always say, everything in moderation, like I do see sometimes on Instagram or social media, you see those um, weddings where you know that they spent like $800,000. Right. Well, well what like, about that one wedding recently where Rihanna performed? Oh, she yeah. got paid $6 million. Imagine how many people they could have fed. Right. On that, that part, side of the world, right? right. That part. Come yeah. on, man. No, Make I agree. Boys Daily, 102 Jams. 100% throwbacks.